Well, hi, everyone. Okay, it has taken a few hours, uh, and I really want to thank Ken Earhart from Paracosma for bringing me up to speed. Uh, it's been a while since I've really done alt space myself, and, uh, and they have changed how to do multimedia. So what you're seeing is the multimedia console portal. Anybody has access to this by using the URL at the top, multimedia-console.altvr.com. Here, you can create an order of slides and video uh, mixed any way you want. The issue, though, and the problem that you're going to have to work through is <clears throat> slides have to be um, as JPEG or, or PNG files. They can't be a PowerPoint, can't be a PDF. So you can, you can export those into JPEGs. Um, and, then, uh, and then a video um, needs to be publicly hosted uh, on YouTube. Um, you need to make sure that, that there aren't any uh, rights to it that would preclude it from being shared or played elsewhere. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems. Um, so the, uh, and then the, the other added headache a little bit is you have to host those files somewhere that are publicly accessible to you to access and, and to be able to copy the URLs of where they're hosted. That could be on FTP server. It could be on your WordPress site where I've got most of my images hosted. Um, and uh, you can't use, you, you got to make sure you have the full URL to the final file. It can't, if you try using Google Share or Dropbox, it's not going to work correctly. Um, so, but I'm going to do a couple examples to help you walk through this. Um, we are working on um, trying to set up some public folders that we might have available for you to use tomorrow. Um, if so, I will provide an update. Um, my recommendation is that the hosts take responsibility for creating these file lists for the presenters. Of course, you guys need to work together. Um, again, this is a little bit laborious. It's not. It's not super easy, um, but this is this is what doing multimedia in VR is today. Uh, so, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a a uh, a first um, two slide one video demonstration, and then I'm going to create another one so you see how this works from the multimedia console. One thing you got to make sure you change are the roles here to elevated users on both. And now I'm going to add two images. So this first image, I'm going to go up to this first image I have. This is hosted from one of my websites. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to put it in here in the, in the image URL. I'm just going to call it uh, Bob test image one, which I was using before. And I'm just going to hit check mark. I'm going to add a second one, this one here, copy the full URL destination, go back, paste it in. I'm going to call it uh, test image two and hit the check mark. And then I'm going to add a video and you're going to want to click on this video icon. I'm going to go, this is a, a live NASA stream running off of YouTube. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go back. I'm going to put the video URL here. Uh, I'm just going to give it a name, Bob, Bob Test Video 1. And you want to change this roll-off distance to and give it a number 5. Uh, this helps so that as users are farther away from the screen, it will be a little uh, less volume and people can have private conversations in the back part of the virtual meeting room, um, which you'll see when you go there. So I'm going to hit check mark here. And, and that's my short, you know, two images and a video uh, uh, multimedia list. And I'm going to hit publish. And you, you want to write this code down. Um, this code is going to let you pull up this set of uh, this image list uh, when you're in alt space and load it into the multimedia console on the stage. 
and then you so you can start playing slides. So this first one is called Post Energy. And just so you understand how this works, if I if I close this, now I can save this also. I can save this as a as a file. Um, I'm going to call it uh, Bob Test One, uh, and it's going to be a dot uh, JSON file. Uh, and I'll show you how that can be reloaded, and you can edit it later, actually. But I'm going to do a uh, a clean uh, new list. I'm going to refresh this. And I'm going to start a new list. Oh, and actually, before I forget, I'm going to change that to elevated users. I'm going to add another image here that I have. This is all just for testing. And I can call this Bob Test One again too. It really doesn't matter. These are they're all individual unique files. Let me add another one. And I'm going to add one new video. Um, also, for the videos, you need to make sure you copy from the browser uh, URL uh, window. You can't do, uh, if you do a share with a short URL, it, it won't work correctly. So you want to copy it from the top of the browser. And I'm going to change this roll distance to five, and I'm going to hit check mark. So, and now I'm going to hit save. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to hit publish. I'm going to hit publish first. That's going to give me a new code for this particular unique set. So, involved dash jet. Okay. So I'm going to, and I, I will save this too, just for for uh, demonstration sake. So I'm going to call that Bob Test 2. Okay, now if I refresh the browser to a clean setup and I load that first, I can load from a file or I can load that configuration code. So let's say I load from the file. it's going to load that initial configuration. Now, let's say, now if I wanted to make a change, let's say I, I'm going to delete this second image, and this is my new playlist. I have to publish that again. It's going to create another new unique code, doll-action, which I'll be able to use in the player once I'm in alt space. Now, if I refresh this again, let's say I want to load that second playlist I made, which was involved dash jet, hit check mark. Here's that second playlist. And let's say I delete this first image. Oh, sorry. There we go. And now I got to publish it again. And I'm going to get a fourth unique code. So anytime you make a change to the playlist after you've published it, you have to republish it again and you're going to get a new unique code. Uh, and you want to make sure you write that code down. You can access it later here or you'll use it when you're in the, uh, at the, in the VR alt space in the multimedia player and I'm going to demonstrate that next. And, uh, and that's how it works. So Again, I think I'd, I'd love to see the host take the lead on creating these lists with their presenters for their presenters. Um, of course, some of the presenters, I think, you know, will have enough technical understanding to probably do this themselves. Um, I'm going to be working on defining 
uh, setting up everyone's roles after this. Uh, and so you'll be able to, once you've created these tests, playlists, which you want to do over the next half day or so, you can test them tomorrow before the event goes live at midnight tomorrow night. You know, go, you can go into alt space. You'll be able to go into the event once I've added you and you can test these playlists on the stage and just make sure that they're working the way you'd like them to work. And, uh, so that's it. I'm going to now, uh, stop here. I need to switch machines and record from the, uh, from the other laptop. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm on a, a Windows laptop, so I can uh, record this um, demonstration. So I'm in the uh, um, entry portion of Altspace. Uh, most of you are used to this. Some of you that are new to it. Um, so if I go to my events here, you know, if you click on this week, you see this. But under my events, and once I've added you to the events, you should see this show up under my scheduled events. I'm going to, and then I'm going to enter the space here. Okay, and now I'm uh, launched into at the back of the arena, um, and uh, I have not been able to figure out how to teleport with my keyboard, but I can walk pretty easily. So back here, people can mingle, talk a little bit. Okay, so this is the, we're looking at the stage. Um, I actually can't, from the keyboard uh, and the Windows laptop, can't figure out how to get to the stage to teleport, but that's okay. Once you're in the headset, uh, getting to the stage is not a problem. Um, this is the multimedia console, and uh, you're only going to see this if, uh, uh, if you've saved those config files under elevated users. So that's really important. If you're not seeing this, that might be why. So I'm going to hit configure and it's going to, you're going to get a pop-up window uh, and I'm going to put in that first code with my first playlist, post dash energy. It takes a second to load. It'll load with a blank screen. I can then hit play, and there's that first image. I'm going to hit next. There's the second image. You can go back previous, so you can you can manage your presentation while you're on stage. And I'm going to now go to that video, and it's going to pull it from YouTube and play it automatically. So this is a, a live stream, you know, from from NASA TV just for demonstration purposes, but it's it's working very well. Um, and uh, again, it's a little bit of a setup process, but once you've got it, it works very, very, it's been working consistently, at least for the last hour and a half. So I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to add in that second playlist and uh, call it involved. Let's see. Dash jet. I'm going to hit play. That's that first image, the second image, and then this third video that I set up and loaded from uh, Giga XR. Let's see if it plays okay. And this is why we test. So I'm not quite sure uh, that that video might have not have sharing capabilities. Oh, there we go. So uh, just took a little extra time for whatever reason, but working very well. Now you need to you know decide if. Uh, 
is your video have audio in it is it going to sell you know play while and do you need to talk over it if you need to talk over it you might you know want to uh, not have audio um, in the video at all you're going to have to make that decision a little bit so it, it's you can't adjust the volume uh, from here at this point uh, so that that's a decision you need to make ahead of time but um, and then I think you, you can decide with your host for the session whether you want them to do next slide as the presenter you can do this um, and uh, but I think but of course you know you want to test this over the next 24 hours before midnight Friday Eastern when we will be going live you don't want to be testing this you know during uh, virtual reality day itself because you'll be interrupting um, other people um, of course though if if there's nothing going on and you want to and you know there's some dead time do feel free to test this briefly um, and uh, and that's about it so hopefully this will be helpful uh, and you guys can get started with it again big headache is finding a place to host your files publicly an FTP site uh, you know a WordPress site you might own um, there are other there are options out there we're going to try to provide some public options tomorrow but I can't promise uh, and uh, and try not to wait for that 